So in our lesson on perspective, we're going to consider one point perspective initially. In the previous video, I have demonstrated that things look smaller in the distance. I've done this by showing two pencil sharpeners side by side. If I bring one closer to us, it appears to be bigger than the one in the distance. The focal length is focusing on this one. That means that one's out of focus. If I remove it, you can see it come into focus. But you can see the principle that things closer to us appear bigger. Now this is the principle of perspective. So I am going to draw a horizon line and I'm going to draw a road going to the horizon. There's a standard road. With white lines down the middle of it. But that doesn't look quite right. Now that is in plan. We are looking from above, looking down. So we need to create a perspective view. And you can see this on many roads. If you go and stand at the end of a road or a corridor in the school building, you will see this. So we see lines converging. This line here is the horizon. And where the lines converge, they converge at a point. This is called the vanishing point. Quite logically, things become smaller at the vanishing point to the point where they disappear completely. You don't often see this. If you've ever been to a desert, you may have seen an illusion and a creation of this kind of depth. Quite often you see the, the heat waves and it becomes out of focus before you meet the horizon. But if we imagine this is the case, the white lines in the road will appear smaller, like the pencil sharpener appeared smaller, and they will be converging to this vanishing point. Now, if you notice, I have drawn them in a line and they're getting slightly shorter as they go backwards. Maybe that one's not quite as short, but you can see the illusion we are creating. We're, we've got quite a high viewpoint here. We are looking down from quite a high place, but you can see the illusion quite clearly. Now, if we were in a desert, um, we might have a cactus here. So I'm going to draw a cactus and just construct a shape. Is a cactus in the distance. If I draw the same cactus here at the same scale, it will look incredibly small and make little sense, look like a baby cactus. So if a cactus was here and another one was here and they've been grown at the same rate under the same conditions, this cactus would look somewhat bigger. So I'll start to draw my cactus. Obviously it's got spikes all over it, but you see the point. So this is going to be a simple one point perspective exercise. And what we need to do is we need to draw a horizon. We can freehand this line. It's absolutely fine. You can use a ruler if you want to. I'm drawing it lightly because it's not particularly important other than to help with the construction. I'm going to draw a little cross which will represent my vanishing point. And I'm going to draw lines radiating from that point. So they're coming from the point outwards. Now these are called orthogonal lines and these lines are going to be useful in constructing what we're going to draw here. So I'm going to draw a vertical line. This is a transversal line in effect and I'm going to draw a series of them they're coming slightly further apart. So the distance here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here is getting slightly wider. And I'm going to construct a little house. So I'm going to put a little line here that's coming off the horizon, slightly higher than the horizon. And in each case, I'm going to pop a door in the same position. So two parallel lines and they are onto this line that is coming from our vanishing point. So that the top of the door is just above our eye level, not much. Now I'm going to pop a little window in, but I'm going to make the window come slightly lower than the door. So I'm going to draw the window here. In each case, I'm going to construct two vertical lines and ensure that the top and bottom is always on the line radiating from the vanishing point. 
Now you start to see lots of lines on your piece of paper. It might become a bit confusing. If so, press a little bit harder on the ones that represent something in your drawing. So if this is the window, I might press a little bit harder. I might press a bit harder around this door. I've gone off my line a little bit. You can do this all with a ruler. Now in the window, I would like to put, I'm gonna make it look like from a face on elevation, a window like an old fashioned sash window with a cross in it. So in each case, down the middle, I'm drawing a vertical line on my window. Now, the crossbar cannot be horizontal. It's got to be pointing to the vanishing point. I'm gonna pop my ruler on here, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I want it about halfway. So on the window closest to me, I'm gonna put halfway and up to the vanishing point. In each case, I'm just gonna draw on the line. I haven't drawn the line all the way through, just on the window. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm constructing the window. I'm going to draw a window in line with this one at the top. So in each case, I need vertical lines. Remember to keep verticals vertical. It's your horizontals that are receding to your vanishing point that are going to be confusing. Now I need to decide where I want the bottom of this window. So I'm going to just pop my line in and line it up with the vanishing point and have the top of my window here. There's lots of construction lines evident. Not worried about that at all. Remember we have a crossbar on this window. So I'm going to pop a line where I want to start, a little mark. Line it up from the mark to the vanishing point and in each case draw it in. Pop the verticals in. Now, when things look a little bit wonky, it's often that your verticals are no longer vertical. Now, that's fine. This is just the front face of this building. So if we were looking at it, we've drawn this front face. We haven't drawn anything on this end profile, apart from this small window that was a demonstration. Now, we could draw the street coming away from the vanishing point, And there could be a pavement, probably a little pavement or a front garden on these houses. And we might have a park here. So I'm going to leave a bit of space. And we might have another street over here. So we might start constructing houses on this profile here. Another place you may see one point perspective if you were stood, I'm going to say we're in New York City because we know there are skyscrapers in New York City. So in New York, if there is a skyscraper that has a square or rectangular profile, we're not looking at something like the Shard in London that has a point at the top of it. We are looking at something that has a rectangular profile. So if we were stood at the bottom of this skyscraper, looking up at it, it would not look like this. It would not look like the, the distance at the top is the same as the distance at the bottom. It would look smaller at the top. And what we would see is the building becoming smaller. Now in comic books, artists often use these techniques to make things in the foreground look much bigger and things in the background look smaller to create a dramatic effect. That would look quite dramatic in this viewpoint. The windows would also be getting smaller and following these lines, which would eventually go to a vanishing point. The vanishing point may not be in the image and it's sometimes when I'm drawing it's off the piece of paper somewhere across the room, but I'm thinking as I'm drawing a line of connecting to the vanishing point, wherever it is in the room.